disconnect the DC in cable from the system board. Turn the frame over. Remove the single screw. Remove the retaining bracket. Pull the connector up to free it and feed the cable through the slot. Feed the DC in cable through the slot. Seat the connector in place. Install the bracket and a single screw. Turn the frame over and connect the DC in cable to the system board. Disconnect the thermal fan assembly cable from the system board. Release the seven captive screws in order. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Carefully lift the thermal fan assembly from the system board. Lower the thermal fan assembly into position using the screw posts for alignment. Tighten the seven captive screws in ascending order. Screw number one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Connect the thermal fan assembly cable to the system board. Remove three screws. Carefully lift the USB card from the system board. Lower the USB card into position using the connector for alignment. Install three screws. Rotate the Torx locking screw counterclockwise to release the microprocessor. Carefully lift the microprocessor from the socket. Lower the microprocessor into the socket using the arrow for alignment. Rotate the Torx locking screw clockwise to secure the microprocessor. Remove two screws from the system board. Remove two screws from the VGA connector. Carefully lift the system board straight up from the frame. Carefully place the system board onto the frame using the screw post and keyboard drain for alignment. Install two screws in the VGA connector. Install two screws into the system board.